Welcome once again to our today's chemistry class. In our class today, we are going to be dealing with 2025 Alternative B YA Chemistry Practical. Question 2. I have handled question 1 in our last class and I ask you to look for similar questions and attempt so that by the time you get in there it will be very simple for you so now coming back here to today's class we are going to deal with question two a question two of this year is expected to be of mixed substances so now the question goes this way C is a mixture of two inorganic compounds. Carry out the following exercises on C. Record your observation and identify any gas or gases evolved. State the conclusion you draw from the result of each test. I put C into a test tube and add about 5 cm cube of water, that's distilled water, and check, filter it. I, I, to first portion of filtrate, that means the filtrate, you divide it. Then take the first portion, add dilute HNO3 followed by AgNO3 aqueous and NH3 aqueous respectively. III, to the second portion of filtrate, add AgNO3 aqueous followed by the by dilute HNO3 then NH3 aqueous IV to the residue add dilute HCl now this is the question that they have given you so study this question and know what exactly you are expected to do follow them exactly the way I am giving you. Now let's go to the solution. The solution now, you have to tabulate your table, you know this, in this manner. Quite unfortunate that last year's exam, when I was marking YAC, I saw, I discovered that some students did not use a table. They, they just wrote their test like notes. So, I am advising you to use this table, test, observation, and inference. Okay, now, the first thing they ask you to do, they said you should do what? They have given you C, sample C, to be mixture of two inorganic substances. You should add distilled water to it. Now, Put it in now into test tube and add distilled water to it and report that on that test. So when you add the distilled water to it, what is expected is that the C partially dissolves. It will not completely dissolve. So when it partially dissolves, now, what you should know is that C, under inference now, C is a mixture of soluble and what? Insoluble compounds. Some persons may say it's soluble or insoluble substances. Okay, it's still correct. Now, they said you should do what? After you have finished checking, do what? Filter it. Because they know that it will not all dissolve. So when you filter it, check the color of the filtrate and that of the residue report under observation as you have seen it here colorless what filtrate and 
white residue. Now, the next point, they said you should do what? You should add to the first portion, dilute HNO3. When you add it, no observable change. You will not see any change there. So you just tell them no observable change under observation. When you go to inference, leave it a dash there. Since there is no observable, observable change under observation, no need to write anything under inference. Now go to the next step. They ask you to add to, to it AgNO3 aqueous. If you do that, you will see white PPT formed. Now, this white PPT is to tell you that you should be suspecting chloride ion, Cl- is present. And they also ask you to add aqueous ammonia to it. Still add to it. And you will discover that the white PPT will dissolve. Once, once it dissolves, that confirms what? Chloride ions. So follow that um, practical way. Though I am teaching you as a theory, as a theory, but follow it, understand it, so that when you do it in your exam, you know what you are reporting. So I, I, I. This one is a similar test to. I, I. The only thing is that in II you started with addition of dilute HNO3 before AGNO3. But here you will start with what AGNO3 before dilute HNO3. Different things will happen. I do not know which of these why it will give to you this year. So understand the two. What will happen when you add them in that order? No what will up happen because one of them you should be expecting one of them but not the two now let's go to the um second portion i i i now they said you should add a g n o3 equals to it once you add that you see white ppt formed but in the previous one there was no observable change when you added what h n o3 first but here you are adding AGNO3 first and you observe that white PPT formed. More than CL is expected to be there. You should be suspecting three different things when you start with what? AGNO3. When we started with HNO3, we suspected only CL during the time we added AGNO3. But now that we have started first with AGNO3, we are suspecting three ions either of these three ions should be in that solution cl minus so3 minus co3 minus or two minus remember i told you that in one of our classes that if you say cl minus and so3 two minus and co3 two minus you are wrong it is Cl minus or SO3 2 minus or CO3 2 minus is present. Any of these three is present, not all of them. So if you write this and this and this, you are wrong. They will mark you back. So you move on to adding dilute HNO3. When you add that, white ppt that was formed will still remain it will not dissolve so you now suspect it to be cl minus that is present if it dissolves this other two so32 minus co32 minus any of them might be present but since it refused to dissolve cl minus is present then Confirm your test with what? NH3 aqueous. White PPT dissolves to give a colorless solution. And that's what? 
CL minus confirmed. Um, if you check the question, we as well talked about the residue. It said you should add dilute HCl to the residue. They can choose to give you any other acid, maybe dilute N, dil dilute HNO3 in place of dilute HCl. It should not confuse you. It will still function the same way. Okay, so here when you add it to the residue, a Observe it well. You see that a colorless and odorless gas will come out. Effervescence will come out. You see effervescence, bubbles coming out. Test that bubble because it is a gas with what? Um, litmus paper, damp blue litmus paper, wet blue litmus paper. When you test it with wet blue litmus paper and the paper turns red, that means that that gas is what? Acidic. The gas is acidic. Go to under inference and report that the gas is what? Acidic. And then you may not, your school may not provide you with lime water that you're supposed to use and confirm that gas. But do not end it there. Make sure you report to the, your examiner that you have tested it with what? Um, lime water. And it turns, the gas turns lime water to what? Milky. Once that is written, you are getting another mark there. And then, what gas supposed to turn lime water milky? At this level, it is what? Um, CO2. So that gas is what you have tested now to prove that that gas is what? CO2. And where do you get the CO2 from? It's always from CO3, 2 minus, or you can get it also from HCO3 minus. So if it is this one you want to write, fine. If you still want to write H. CO3 minus CO2 can also come out from here. So this is to tell you that the mixture of the salt that you carried out the analysis, the, the, the C now, your C is a mixture of carbonate, which is this one, and chloride, which is the first test we carried out. I believe you enjoyed the class. Study the, 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 the question very closely. Know the theoretical part of it so that by the time you have your way to uh, do the practical, you know exactly what is expected of you. I wish you the best in your exam and I believe that you do well and then come out with flying colors. Read more and I will still be dropping some other questions for you to try to answer them by yourself before the exam. Thank you and remain blessed.